Doc Favors here. Welcome to another episode of the Quantum Leap Masterclass. As a matter of fact, we're on episode 15, guys. So that means we are getting through it because we only have about four more after this. And I hope this is really being a blessing to you. It's really helping you out like it is me. I utilize this information in my own personal life, in my business, and everything that I do, even with my clients. And I'm here to tell you right now, guys, that it's such a joy to see some of you all's comments and also to know that you're going to have access to this information for weeks and months and years to come. So without further ado, let's get right into episode 15. And episode 15, you all, is called Get Uncomfortable. Now, it, it, this chapter has so many nuggets in it, but I'll start off with a quote right here by the author, Price Pritch. He says, uneasiness is a predictable psychological reaction when a quantum leap is underway. Now, what does that mean? Guys, when you're talking about having quantum leaps, quantum leaps will literally jerk you from your comfort zone. And what I mean by that is we have to get to a certain place in life where we understand we're not going to play it safe all the time. We're going to change some things that we're doing. But at the end of the day, when you know that something uncomfortable is, company, is coming and you know that you have to go through an uncomfortable area in order to get to that place called there, in order to get on the other side of success, then the preparation for that is going to be way different. The mindset entering into a bout or a fight like that, a battle like that, right? I remember watching the old school G.I. Joe and used to say all the time that no one is half the battle. So when you understand what you're getting into and where you're going, then it helps you prepare a little more, right? And that's what we're talking about today. But I want you to understand that if you are willing to get uncomfortable for the sake of you achieving the level of success that you want, then that's what a quantum leap is all about, right? In this chapter, Price goes on to tell us that, and he says this, and I quote, a quantum leap is an act of faith, exhilarating and possibly scary at the same time. You have to give up a large degree of security and safety, plow through greater amounts of ambiguity and confusion and uncertainty. Watch this, you all. Wrestle with a totally new set of problems, invite failure in, and possibly contend with criticism from other people. Now, that's a mouthful. Well, what exactly is he saying with this line right here, you all? Well, I'm going to tell you my interpretation of it, because here's the thing. A quantum leap is an act of faith because when you start venturing off into new territories that you've never been in before, it's it's, it's almost like you, 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 you think you know what's going to happen, but you really don't know what's going to happen until you actually get in the situation. And we call this situational learning, okay? At least I do anyway. That you can read all the books in the world, guys, right? You can study, try to prepare, but that's only one side of the continuum. The other side is there's a whole nother level of experiences and things that you're going to learn while being in the moment, okay? And when you're in the moment, some people say that's the best training, so they'll tell you to dive right in. I tell you, you want to have a good dose of both, okay? You want to have your, your book knowledge, your preparation, everything that you can possibly learn prior to. That means doing your research, writing your business plan, you know, checking out other people in your field who are successful and doing what you want to do. But then at some point in time, you're going to have to get uncomfortable and do what you haven't done before. That means attempt what you have not attempted before. If you got a problem with speaking in public, then start speaking in public. If you got a problem with being around a whole lot of people, then go get around a whole lot of people, guys. If you don't think that no one will listen to you, then you got to change the mindset and say, you know what? Everybody will listen to me because I have something to say. And this is what it means by, you know, sacrificing your security and safety because you go out on the limb. You know, when you throw an event and you don't know who's going to come, you put your money down first, you get the hall, you get the event space, you go on faith, you, you put it out there, you make your fly, you, you, you set your price accordingly, and next thing you know, you put it out there and you hoping and wishing someone is going to, you know, come to it. Well, I'm telling you, there's another mindset, there's another thought energy that you can put into this thing, which is called what? Getting uncomfortable on purpose. So I do things on, on purpose, you all, where I'm not looking for necessarily a high year return, but I'm just looking for the experience because I know that in the experience, if done on purpose, then I can learn something way valuable, right? Learn about logistics, learn about sales, learn about marketing, okay? All of this comes into, into your learning and growth process in terms of quantum leap. And I'm going to share something with you personally, for real, um, that I have experienced. Teaching in front of a screen and on a screen 
is way different than teaching on a stage with live bodies in the room. Okay, I need you all to understand that, all right? Uh, we used to talk about this a, a lot several years ago before COVID. COVID-19, COVID really made it easy for people to sit and speak to a red dot. But prior to that, right? But then you, it, it wasn't as easy. So now we've mastered the skill of doing online courses and things of that nature. But I'm one who liked both. And that's the reason why in January, well, I'll give you that announcement in a minute. But anyway, um, that's what that is, right? Certain things happen in the moment that you can't plan for, but you have to be ready for. And that's why we say get back to the basics. What are the basics? Getting uncomfortable, putting yourself in certain amounts of situations on purpose. Do you all know how the Navy SEALs train? I was watching something and I saw something on, on I think it was Netflix or YouTube or something, but they purposefully put Navy SEALs and all the armed forces for that matter, but your special ops team, they put them through a rigorous amount of pressure and scenarios so that when they get into real life situations, they can make decisions based upon their training, okay? And I'm gonna tell you right now, the scenarios that they were painting for those guys were very uncomfortable. And quite frankly, some of them didn't make it out of boot camp. So I'm here to tell you all tonight, or, or, or on this video here, that getting uncomfortable will help you seriously when you're talking about growing your, growing your business, scaling your business, whatever you're trying to accomplish in life. If you learn how to put yourself in an uncomfortable state, when you actually get into an uncomfortable situation, you'll handle yourself better, right? And there's nothing like closing the deal, nothing like completing an event where a lot of things, I've been there, guys, I'll tell you, and I don't know why I'm talking about events so much on this piece, but so I guess some of you all are considering hosting your own event parties or doing something like that. But here's the thing, when you do these events enough, you will realize that we, we write that into the budget miscellaneous happenings, right? You always have to have a little extra, or one more extra bag, or one more extra book, or one more extra whatever, right? Just in case the what if factor comes into play. Lights go out, well, we got one more generator, you know. Microphone go out, the batteries go dead, we got extra batteries. Do you all hear what I'm saying? That's considering getting uncomfortable. Now, I'm gonna read one more piece for you, and then I'm gonna close it out. I'm gonna share with you some announcements, okay? Now, one thing that he also says, you all, is that if you're experiencing no discomfort, no problems, then you're probably still playing it safe. He says the only risks that aren't a little scary are the ones you've outgrown. So how do you know if you've outgrown something? How do you know if, if you're ready for the next level when things become easier and easier for you and you're not challenged? See, when you're talking about a U squared, some people can grow incrementally and that's fine, but they never experience those big jumps, those big leaps, those awe factors, those, wow, that was totally wicked awesome. You know, that was just super awesome. They don't experience. Y'all got to forgive me. I get excited about it because I've been there. I've been on both sides. I know what it means to play it safe, but I also know what it means to get uncomfortable, take the risk and get out there and do something magnanimous. I know what it feels like. So that being said, guys, once again, this is episode 15, Get Uncomfortable, okay? Now, few announcements. I'm happy to announce you all that the, um, the Essential Wealth Creation, we have added a, an online uh, price point for you guys that's very reasonable, and you'll have opportunities to join us online. All you got to do is hit the link down below, and you can secure your spot, get you a seat in the room uh, for the day sessions. And for those of you who want to be online for the VIP session, that's going to be uh, um, you know what? Yeah, we'll have a, a price for that too because you, you won't be in the room, but um, I don't know if they put that up, but I will make sure if you are interested, just let me know, leave a comment. But uh, if you're interested in getting into the the event that's on January 20th, we're doing an all day event down here, one day immersion uh, that's gonna have four day sessions and three night sessions. We got some people paying VIP. We're gonna actually take them over to our office and show them how we manage all the businesses and things that we do out of our office space and how easy it is to set up one for your company, for your business, be it coaching or what have you, you know, the, the um, um, cleaning business or, you know, whatever business that you're doing. You know, we got several business. I was, we got real estate coming out of that office. You all, we got the Essential Leaders Institute. We also got the We Care, the Senior Care, Healthcare business we got and other things coming out that same office. But 
how much of a joy would it be to be able to see the setup and give you some ideas as to how you want yours to go. Price point, tools, resources, everything is going to be unveiled to those VIPs at this piece. So uh, take a look at that as well. You all don't forget that the new book is out. It'll be on that same link, that same website. So with that being said, you all, this is Doc Favors, y'all. Thank you so much for joining and rocking out with your boy. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and, and turn that notification bell on. And uh, last but not least, you all know what it is. Let's be positive on purpose and not by accident. We'll see you next time. <laughs>